Good morning and welcome to episode 19 of Neverwood TV on Friday the 8th of March. I am Emily Osborne and I'm Natasha Hunt and we're both prefects. In today's episode we will be taking a look at what we have been doing for Nationals Careers Week. We will also hear this week's recommended read. And finally we will hear some general school news and reminders. This week has been National Careers Week and National Apprenticeship Week. During the week, there have been activities happening in form time, focusing on career sectors and apprenticeships. The English, Maths and Science Department have been running lessons that link activities in their subjects to the world of work in all departments, have been displaying posters on where their subject can take them. Year 11 have been applying for apprenticeships with Mrs Bird and Year 10 are accessing higher education activities today on the Hepsi bus. It's time to hear from Mr Grieve for this week's recommended read. Hello, it's Mr Grieve here for the uh, Netherwoods recommended read and it's extra special today because it's coming to you from World Book Day in which there has been speculation all day but I am in fact not a rabbit from The Great Showman. I am uh, the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, so your recommended read and I've picked these mainly because uh, I know that some people don't particularly like reading or they look at a book and they think God, that's huge, and I can't be bothered to start one. So, these, by James Patterson, are called book shots, okay? And they're quite a small book. Ultimately, they're only 115 pages, and if you look at the writing, there's not much on them. So, these are book shots, yes. James Patterson, he uh, likes to write about crime and thrillers, and he writes these small books that you can pick up at WH Smith's or anywhere. I don't think we've got them in the library, but if you ask Miss Haig, you can maybe borrow one from her, because they are hers. And they follow just a, a man solving some sort of crime. Uh, they're quite, it slams all of the action into a very short amount of pages. And uh, you can get lost in it, and it would only take you a couple of days to read. And if you were looking to get into reading, it's a very good, easy way to start. Okay, so for instance, this one's called The Hostage. It's um, VIPs gather in London for the ultimate preview, but one invited guest plans to make this day in the city he, a one he will never forget. Global head of security John Roscoe confronts a killer with a deadly timetable. Or we have The Chase, which is a man plunges to his death from the roof of a Manhattan hotel. It looks like a suicide, except the victim has someone else's fingerprints and $10,000 in cash. Okay, so very easy reads. Quite engrossing. I read them with my year nines last year for Run and Reader. They seem to enjoy them. But yeah, okay, thank you. On Tuesday, year eight students took part in a range of activities to prepare them for making decisions on their courses in year nine. One of the activities was talking to local employers about their company and the job roles in that organisation. NPS, XPO Logistics, the Barnsley Civic Centre and Enzigo Environmental took part in this event and pointed out where the where they are based to show the types of jobs in the school's local area. Here are some pictures from the Year 8 event. Yesterday was World Book Day. A number of our teachers dressed up as characters from their favourite book which generated conversations between students and staff about what they are reading. Now on to some general school news and reminders. The Year 11 mock exams continue next week with the English language exam Monday morning. Good luck to all Year 11s this week. The next theatre enrichment trip is to see Blood Brothers on Wednesday the 10th of April at the Manchester Lowry Theatre. There are only two spaces left on the trip so please see Mrs Oates or Mr Utley. Thank you for watching Netherwood TV. See you next Friday morning for the next episode. <laughs>